I had always assumed that our shooter had snapped and then did what he did. And it was uh, a moment of, of clarity, and, and furious clarity for me, to find out that he had exhibited signs and signals throughout his life and that this was a very typical mass shooting, that the pathway was very clearly laid out. I can't believe that it's um, about to be five years since I last hugged Dee. Um, I can't comprehend that. I probably never will. Dylan, he was just pure love. He was a boy that loved to cuddle, loved a good, firm cuddle. He idolized Jake, his older brother, and he was always close. You know, he liked to be like to be right with you all the time. No one should ever lose a child in these sort of circumstances, especially when it's preventable. Um, so that just drives me and, and keeps me going. There has to be um, transformative change that comes as a result of this. Sandy Hook Promise exists for one reason, to prevent gun violence. The way we do this is by teaching people how to know the signs of someone who's at risk of hurting themselves or someone else. This is my life's mission. This is the way I honor, I honor Dylan. Um, this is the only way I can ensure that there's not more moms like me. It's devastating when I hear of another mass shooting and I won't lie, it hurts even more when there's children involved, of course, because it takes me right back to 1214 and then knowing that there are more families who are impacted, who are going to be going through this very similar experience to what I went through, and that we weren't, we weren't fast enough to save them. Um, but then I take my anger and my sadness and my love, and I funnel it all into this work. It's important to reframe uh, the conversation around gun violence prevention because unfortunately as soon as you mention the word gun, people start taking sides and it becomes a political or a polarized and divisive issue. And that's when people start fighting and they're not listening to each other. I do get angry. I mean, I'm not going to lie about that. I'm angry that people are still dying every day. I'm angry that we haven't seen more significant changes. Um, I'm frustrated because I know these changes are going to happen but just not fast enough. And every day that we waste, more people are dying. And I, I will never accept that.